can look at the offset map here and sometimes if I want to just remove this effect and delete this is to have a character particularly with mocap continue a walk cycle forward so this isn't the same as the walk cycle it's not perfectly repeatable so what we're going to do is look at the very first frame his right foot is forward and at the end his left foot is forward so we want to be able to loop it so that's not really helping us what we can do is turn on the ghosting properties for his feet so we can see exactly where we want to go so if I go into here I'm going to go animation ghosting and inside the visibility options of the objects here I'm going to do animation ghosting and I'm just going to keep it at the object level inside the each of the views if you go to the display options you have the options to see the types of ghosting so if you increase the frames before frames after that sort of thing so if I were to do say right, say 30 frames before and 30 frames after there we can see the movement of these feet going through here so there we go you can see how they fade out we can turn this on and off as well I uh, actually want to go to display options and turn fade off like so so I'm just going to go back to shaded so there we go you can see it walking oh oh there we go so we can see approximately where his feet were going to go inside here so what I want to do really is trim either from the beginning or from the end let's just see how it looks he's probably going to deviate a lot at the end so let's trim let's go back to an approximate time where his right foot is forward and it's in the same sort of position so that's his left foot that's his left foot I'm going to trim after this a trim after there we go so it's approximately going back to where he was before now if I duplicate the clip I'm going to go back one frame here and I want to use the upper body to offset it what we can do is use offset map to find out the stride length of the total clip so selecting upper body I'm now going to right click here make sure it's 63 incoming is 63 that's good offset map so now if I click on here in the clip properties there it's given me my Z position for the stride so if I wanted to repeat that I can actually get rid of this I'm going to get rid of this as well I'm just going to move this back to here so there we go I'm going to multiply this offset on each cycle CID is the cycle ID I'm going to type that in like so so now no matter if I stretch this out and cycle it now you notice a little slip there oh so what we can do is just trim the end frame so inside the time properties I'm just going to drop one frame off so let's make it 127 something like that actually maybe a couple more frames just to tweak this see how it's going I've really scaled it down a lot that's not too bad if I were to scale it up it'd probably be a bit easier to see so now there we go I'm adding the same stride length per cycle Let's go back and have a look I can turn ghosting off probably a little easier to see now I have to tweak it a little bit but there he goes it'll pop there can just sort that out that's not bad at all so that was a very rough way of taking any data and using the offset map to find the stride length to then multiply by the cycle ID.